Our nominees for the fifth Singapore Short Film Awards were announced on Monday and student films, it seems, are stealing the show. So you want to stay here with the bird or you want to walk around with me? Oh, this film is called Bird. It's a romantic coming-of-age tale. It was made by student Kristen Ong while studying film, video and sound at Ni An Polytechnic. Now, this film garnered seven nominations, the most in the award's five-year history. Altogether, 20 films have been nominated across 10 categories. Uh, 13 of them are student nominees, all chosen by a pre-selection committee. So I have with me one of the members of the committee. She's here to talk about the nominations. Uh, Wee Li Lin, thank you very much for coming in today. Thanks for having me. No problem. So this year's awards, yes. most number of student films being nominated. What mm -hmm. does it say about the quality and caliber of our young Singaporeans? I, I think it's really encouraging, and I mean, it goes to show you that um, you know talent knows no age limit, um, or no, um, yeah, you know, you, there are some really young filmmakers making some really mature, really outstanding work. Um, How I'm, young is young? Um, I think we had. Um, seen some filmmakers who were by between 19 to 21 mm -hmm. and I think that's pretty young. I mean, I made my first proper short film at the age of 22 and I thought that was pretty young <laughs> already. So it's very encouraging and I think uh, the film schools are doing something right. So. Yeah. So in the last two years, um, homegrown films have kind of seen a resurgence of sorts. So yeah. um, what have you noticed about this new generation of filmmakers? I think technically they, um, they're pretty competent and I think it has to do also with technology maybe being mm. a bit more user friendly. Mm. And I think they're a lot bolder in the stories that they want to tell, they're a lot more outspoken. Um, I teach as well and I find that a lot of my students, they are, they are much more um, willing to express uh, their emoness <laughs> and uh, issues that are going on in their lives. Yeah, I guess it's and, a function um, of being that generation. Yeah, they're a bit more outspoken. Maybe, maybe, yeah. But it's it's a it's a pleasure, you know, to to be around them when they're talking about you know their stories and and um, I mean just putting themselves mm -hmm. out there and and, and, and you know um, really being very honest in, in how you know how they want to express themselves. So yeah. this year, you guys got uh, 111 submissions. Yes. Uh, was it tough because you had to narrow it down it to 20? It was tough. You it was tough and also I'm married to one of the jurors <laughs> so um, there were times where you know like and we have quite different tastes my husband and I and so there were times when those differences were you know discussed all the way till before we went to bed so um, <laughs> so but I, you know the way I see it is is that we're all entitled to our own opinions mm -hmm. and ultimately there was um, um, Aisha from the substation would be the would be the what we call the the person that would be the breaking vote yeah okay but what would yeah. be like the key criteria in picking these films um, um, for me, it's always characterization and story. Mm -hmm. Like if um, if I think the characterization and the story speaks to me, um, and I think for my husband and maybe some of the other jury members, maybe it was more mise en scène and other elements. But for me, it's always about characterization and storytelling. Okay, so yeah. when are you going to pick the uh, winner? Um, or I the think winners? I think pretty soon. I think in a couple of weeks we'll be we'll be deciding. Okay, so yeah. we'll definitely look out for that. Thanks for coming in today. It was thanks, great to you. thanks, thanks for having me. No problem. And that was Lee Lin. Uh, so the winners for the fifth Singapore Short Film Awards, as she said, will be announced very soon, and we'll bring you that report when it's out. Uh, let's